acceptance needed to change. Thanks for, Thanks for reading, brother. It was not like it was <laughs> How much time you have clean, brother? I have 44 days. Just give it to him, y'all. God bless. You want to speak to what you just read? Uh, yes. Um, you know, we, we talked about change this morning, actually. Uh -huh. uh, and um, what I've come to know, man, is that change is inevitable. Uh -huh. It's something that is definitely going to happen in each and every one of our lives, one way or another. Mm -hmm. So my job is do I want to accept change mm -hmm. or don't I want to accept change? And I'm choosing to accept change. And that's because I know that change will make my life a lot better. There's positive results that come from making changes. And I mean, like, am I afraid of success? No, because you're going to be successful with change. That's a guarantee. So why not accept success and, and, and live a better life and make the changes that we need to make? Because good comes out of that. And what was it that? Very good. Thank what you was it that? Anybody what else? That? I like that. I like that. Anybody else? Yeah. Come on. You know, Scott, man. All right. Hey, Scott. Uh, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Like, I, you know, I'm get, getting up every day. I'm trying to be grateful for all the things that I do have. Uh -huh. You know, not think about the things that I used to have and, and worry about the things in the rearview mirror. Try to, like, put that off and just say, you know, I can't go forward looking backwards. And, like, I just have to keep, you know, one foot in front of the other. And I'm feeling a bit better every day. And I'm just working it, and I can't believe, like, I'm I'm thinking about it. I, I can't believe I'm going without any drugs or anything, and I'm, like, right. every day, and it's just, like, feeling a little strange, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm so used to that. And now that I'm not doing it anymore, you know, it takes a little getting used to, and now I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable in it and not having to feel that I have to have that because I used to think that I used to have to have it. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm not, I'm feeling a lot better, a lot stronger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop you clean, brother. I'm 60 days. All right. Okay. I like it. Anybody else want to speak to what he, um, what brother man read? How you doing, brother? Good, Good to see you. God bless y'all. All right. Dash, you want to speak on that, brother Dash? Um, he spoke, what he spoke about, man, like, you know, it really hit me, like, because um, he spoke about change and stuff like that. A lot of us are afraid of the unknown, so yes, we'll be so comfortable with doing the same thing we always did. Uh -huh. We'll be so used to it. Mm -hmm. so, but, but if we really look at the situation and look at our past, we look at our past, see what it done to us, mm -hmm. we should want to go for further do better mm -hmm. for ourselves. That's man. Mm -hmm. I know I want to do better. You know my whole scenario, my whole story. Mm -hmm. What happened to me in the fire? I was just in the fire. Uh, I was in a burn unit. Uh, I had taken the degree burn to my leg. Uh, I had a last year. I had a heart attack. I was on my deathbed. I had a tube down my throat to my lungs. I couldn't breathe. I was fighting for my life. And this was last year. Within a year. Look how God done blessed me. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. I met him in the rooms of recovery. You met us I met you here. I met, met me here. <laughs> and I met Paul where was that? Yeah. 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 I met him here. Yeah. 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 Uh, wow. How much time y'all clean out, Dash? I don't even count there, bro. I'll just give it to him. Just for the day. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank God for last night's rest this morning. Rise. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve, and mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How the brothers doing? Good. Pretty good. good. Back at old dad, men's rap. Who's that? Old dad. Four days before Christmas. All right. Anybody got their gifts? No. Yeah. Who's still working on that? All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ain't nobody stressing them, stressing themselves out for the holidays. I ain't not very good. Very good. All I right. was in this episode. Yeah. No. I was yeah. you. That's That's just sitting over here all the time. That's where you met me. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I Tonight we're going to talk about 12 laws of recovery. Yeah. If anybody ever read, they got their hands on the recovery Bible. In the index or the glossary, they got something called the 12 laws of recovery. I remixed it just a little bit. I think I put two more, uh, you know, spiritual principles, but it's all spiritual. We're not going to do no religion. Don't worry about that. We ain't going to be yelling, hollering, Jesus and all of that, Buddhas and Allah. We're going to keep it spiritual. Right? Because we don't want to keep, we'll keep the floor with them, nobody to feel marginalized. All right? So we keep it spiritual. Everybody's in what? Inclusive. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's have fun. Oh, all right? Yeah, I'm sure, right? We'll do the change. So listen, when, when brothers get involved, time moves quick. 
Am I saying that? For those who are watching the clock, all right? So I, all, all groups for me get me excited as if I'm watching the Eagles. Mm-hmm. That's how I get it, right? Because I got the same energy to die. I got the same energy to what? To live. Yo, law number one for recovery. Powerlessness will result in strength. Powerlessness will result in strength. Who do not understand that? How can I admit that I'm powerless on one end of the spectrum and say I'm getting strong when I admit on the opposite side of the spectrum? Come on. I would say because it takes strength to, be, to admit that you're powerless. Ah, that's perfect. strength right there. Very good. Hey, no, very very strong, good. Strong. Do that. Say it again. And to know that you're powerless. My man, very good. How much time you got clean? Well, yesterday has passed. Tomorrow is yet to come, so I don't know today. I like that. Riddle me this. All right. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, brother. Come on. Yeah, um, I'm just not willing to fight anymore. So uh-huh. being powerless means to me, like, I just can't fight it anymore, and I'm, I'm gaining strength by not getting willing to fight. You know what I mean? Like, get in the ring with it, like Mike Tyson. I'm not willing to do that anymore. Either. Right. Exactly. All right. Yeah. We, we surrender, yeah. right? We're powerless. Three three elements on the powerlessness. I gotta admit that I'm what powerless well, like admit. over what drugs. I used to like drugs because drugs make me escape to the what fantasy island, off to the matrix oh, in yeah. a spiritual coma, right? But the drugs never love me. All right, pain is a motivator. Yes, it is. Right, yeah. pain will either make you worse or make you better. So I had enough pain on my ass to make me wanna what? Wanna change. Just what he was just talking about. All right? So I admit that I can't, me and coke are enemies. Me and drugs is enemies. Me and the lifestyle is enemies. Because fear and faith cannot occupy the same place. One gotta stay, the other will roll out. So if faith stays, fear leaves. We get into that. So I gotta admit that I'm powerless. After I admit that I gotta what? Submit to what? The program. You wanna say that? This is a program. Um, uh, uh, what was it? AA, I like that program. NA, I like that program. Um, if you're Muslim, that's a program, all right? Um, um, Christian, that's a program. Buddhist, that's a program. Jewish, that's a program. Spiritual discipline to help transform the man. Everybody understand that? So I got to admit that I'm powerless. Submit to a program. Get a sponsor. Get in service, get a home group, start doing step work. Cause recovery is an inside outside job. Mm-hmm. Everybody understand that? Yeah, yep. very good. And the last one, I gotta be committed until I die. Everybody understand that? Yes. It was hard for me to accept the fact that I could not smoke weed no more. Ever? Mm-hmm. Ever, ever? Yes. Mm-hmm. No more. Can't sell drugs? Nope. I gotta legitimize my life from A to Z? Yes. I can't drink no more Mm. or hang out with a guy, just a can of beer? No. It's over? Yes. No more? Yes. It's over? Yes. You heard me. It's over? Yes. No more? You damn right. right. Because if I don't accept that or get committed to a program, I moonwalk right back to where I came from. Playing here, we die. Out Out there. Easy said than done. For some brothers, it's hard to get their mind around this. That is no more. That's why it's just for a day program. Not next week, not next month, not next year, not two years, not in three years, not six months, just for the day. He said it. So just stay in the day. Stop projecting, Dirk, about what you're going to do next week. Next week ain't here. You might die tonight. Mm. So just stay in today. My mother said something a long time ago. She said, oh. That's so chances don't keep going around. Uh-huh. You heard what he said? Chances, what his mom told him? Chances don't keep going around. And what that mean? What that mean? Keep playing? You gotta take advantage of your blessings and do what's right for yourself and better yourself. Wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very really good. Yeah. We're powerless over him snoring. But <laughs> 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 well, he you know he, he explained that last time because he I know he got a condition right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yo, jump in, Jacks. All right, number two, y'all. Here we go. So number two is what? Humility will result in what? Honor. I put up on the board, ask for help. How many men in here is hard for you to ask for help because the pride might be in the way? Yeah. Everybody want to take a swing at that right there? Why is that dangerous? How can that handicap me in my recovery if I can't and I won't ask for help? We listening. Come on. We want to go. Come on. That pride. Yes, sir. That, man, that male pride mm-hmm. being stuck with that pride, that stigma, mm-hmm. like men don't cry, cry. Like men yeah, don't lay, 
men, you know, uh, don't show no weakness. Mm-hmm. We're not vulnerable. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we come from the streets, so mm-hmm. we, we got to show a tough exterior. Mm-hmm. So that being said, we show no weakness mm-hmm. at no time. Okay. Because we are in the streets. Everybody hear that? Mm-hmm. Are, you like, are you like that? Yeah. You still like that? I'm struggling with that. Okay. I struggle with that on a daily. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All I right. do a daily inventory every morning when I wake up. Mm-hmm. I got to make sure and realize where I'm at and uh-huh. what I'm here for and what I got to do daily. Very good. Yeah. Being home. Very good. Yeah, if good. somebody talking slick out of the side of their neck, can you think for that brother and just give him a pass and just, and just keep it moving? Because um, he's just talking crazy. He's talking reckless. He miserable. He unhappy. He's ungrateful. He see your spirit. He see how you how you how you recovering. And he might be envious, but too proud to say that he's watching you. And you're a good example of how recovery should look like in certain areas. Then you got a brother who's trapped. When a man don't know how to get out, he act out. Then he start throwing darts. Or punches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they call them provocateurs. And you being humble, that means you might catch somebody in here and might be trying to act slick like that. And we gotta what? Keep it moving. Don't feed into what? That bad behavior. Very good. And that's humility. Everybody understand that? Yeah. As long as you don't what? Put Touch his hands on. Put his hands on. <laughs> right. That's he won't see the IP man. How much time you got clean, soldier? I got just a day. Give it to him. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks for sharing that, brother. Humility will result in what? Honor. Uh-huh. How about this right? Everything don't need a response. Uh-huh. Everything man. don't need a what? Response. Bye. Sometimes best be quiet. Yes. Or walk away. After that. Or walk away. Anybody here sarcastic? Like you, you talking to a brother, he saw he talks sarcastic, and you really want like y'all this dude don't know me. I really want to punch him in his mouth. Yeah, I, I would smack this dude back to Kensington, right? <laughs> listen, <laughs> I, I mean, what? You listen, come on. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to be a very sarcastic guy, and I am at times now. But you know what, man? Mm-hmm. When I really do that in personal inventory, mm-hmm. and I know that I'm out of pocket when I'm doing that, I really don't like myself when I'm acting like that. And that's mm-hmm. one thing that really helps me. That's because I really want to be a better person and not be a slick talker, you know, looking for my own benefit, in other words. Mm-hmm. Like, I try to, I'm really trying to stop doing that, man. That's one of my character defects. Very good. Yeah, very good. My, 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 um, my step granddaughter, she said, Pop, Pop, you stupid. <laughs> you know, they were in the car. <laughs> you stupid. And God said, listen, she's a blessing. Why? Because she's helping you. <laughs> she's helping you learn not to take what people, other people's opinions on you personal. You ever hear that? Take it to heart. Right, exactly. Take it to heart. So she's my what? She's my training. She's my training ground right there on how to deal with what people's opinions. You know that? Right. right. So how does it feel, Dr. to be called stupid? Are you stupid? No, I'm not. Are you slow? Yes, I am. But I'm not stupid. They I guess slow. <laughs> I guess slow. So I have to humble myself and not to what? Respond. Out of what? Ignorance and stupidity. She just called you stupid out of nowhere? But yeah, because, yeah. Because, because, I, I, because I was slow with it. I, had to re- I repeated myself. <laughs> And she thought I should have got it right away. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's nine years old. I'm 51. I'm dumb. No, she was checking me, though. Yeah. $1,000 on me yesterday. Yeah. I said, well, I said, nine years old. And the scripture says, out of mouth of suckling babes shall come true. That's right. Your kids can teach you. Come on. You can learn. That's right. And when you check me, I said, wow. That's right. Boy. Yes. That's good. My granddaughter, five years old. Uh-huh. Smart as a tag. Uh-huh. Smart. Uh-huh. She asked me a question. I couldn't Mm-hmm. Five. Mm-hmm. So, so we got to be humble, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ask for help. Everything don't need a what? A response. Mm-hmm. Everybody that? That's what they told me. I'm from 26 in Huntington. Lions, Tigers, and Bears. They say, Dark, when you come into programs, fall back because you got a lot of men in the building, a lot of personalities. Um, This one, he's quiet. He's depressed. He's miserable. He's happy. He's gun ho. Yo, he wish you would. Listen, he a gangster. He an OG. He a new G. He a lumberjack. Listen. <laughs> he's Superman. He's Batman. He's Tarzan. Listen, all that's going on in the building, right? So fall back, right? And stay humble. And get you get to see. Because listen, if my man right here disrespect my man um, Dash, guess who next? I am. No, he was just not me. Everybody, I'm just saying. Oh, Hold on. I'm saying. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> Every day don't need a response. Right, right. Right, Ron said, but in our humanness, we respond. Right. Who are you talking to? 
Nigga. Yeah. Brother, and you gotta watch who you hang with. Cause some dudes will gas up the situation. Oh, they have you man. come on and you be the one locked up. Yeah. And they got they still got their goddamn freedom. Yeah. And you get mad because they ain't bringing you no cigarettes, so don't put no books on the money on the books. <laughs> <laughs> like, stay humble. Everybody hear that? Stay humble, yeah. all right? Stay humble. A lot of things jump up in this building right here. Cause some cats was not what? Humble. Dudes fighting. Kurt Bride, last Saturday, one guy was dry snitching. Say Dash is my roommate. Mm -hmm. and, and we were talking about denial. That was the topic on the floor. And the guy was saying, well, what happened if um, the dude, what happened if, he, uh, what happened if you don't come to group? You come to group, but you sit on the outside of the meeting, like you out there sitting on the washing machine. Mm -hmm. I said, well, maybe, 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 I don't know. I don't know why, brother. I don't know why he said that, right? right. Well, one and one wasn't adding up to two yet, right? Then he said, maybe, I said, well, what if he, he's he crushing up his, his meds? Mm -hmm. He crushing them up so, so thinly that he's sniffing them up like it's dope. I said, man, he, yeah, that's denial, but damn, it's just a problem going on. Then I said, yo, what's going on with this brother? Where you getting at? He dry snitching. And then the roommate, when well, he was, what, throwing darts with no name attached to the darts, he said, yo, say it to my face. He got up, he walked. He said, I'm now saying it to your face. <laughs> then he went back and sat back in his place. Then the man got up from his place and walked up in his face, and he hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that was Saturday. You ever hear that? Men confront boys whisper. You ever guess that? That's real right there. So if you got a problem with you, don't air out laundry in front of everybody. Speak to that man like men. One on one. Me and Dad's got problems. Y'all won't hear it. We'll just talk. And when you yell and scream, you lose your brother. Why? Because he goes, what? His pride kick in. I'm not kick in. He's an alpha male and I'm an alpha male. He's a gangster. I'm a gangster. He been shot. I've been shot. He shot people. I shot people. He been in jail. I've been in jail. And nobody wins. Because I'm trying to prove to him how bad I am. But I can't stay clean. And I'm collecting my children. See, the things the things that I that that's unimportant, I give mad energy. And the things I should give energy... I don't. You I don't. don't. Mm -hmm. Humility. Humility. We're resorting what? Honor. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't sweep floors for y'all. I don't cook for y'all. I don't clean for y'all. I do it for what? God. Mm -hmm. And when you work for God, you automatically work for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, everybody that's like a person I'm here for my kids. Okay, that sound good. Right. Mm -hmm. But you got really gotta be here for who? Your damn yeah. self. Oh, you're here for yourself, you automatically here for your don't take for your kids. Kid. That's right. Stay humble. And ask for what? Help. Because no man is an island. Dependence prepare us for what? Independence. I need my techs. I need the therapists. I need the counselors. I need my peers. I need haters. <laughs> because all of them are helping me for what? Independence. Yeah. Playing here, we die. Yeah, okay. yeah. And for those who just came in, I'm Dirk. That's Dash. Topic for tonight is 12 laws of recovery. One was powerlessness will result in strength. Number two is humility will result in honor. Number three, forgiveness will result in what? Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Who's holding grudges? Who can't grow because you won't let go? Mm. Who can't grow spiritually because you can't let go? Come on, brother. No certain things that I, that I can't do or I don't want to change. What that be? You know what I'm All right. Certain things, what? It's like it's personal. That it's certain things is hard, like like a hard to follow. Uh huh. So it's like, um, I can take me there, like it make me angry. You know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to like do my best to deal with it. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. It's a process. Yeah. It's a process. I like know, yeah. I need to you know get over it, but you know it's hard. Like okay, like like y'all probably heard me story about my ex wife, East Baltimore. Used to whip my ass. But I never, bitch, I never called her a bitch. Never disrespected her, right? Always work CCT Connect, paratransit, picking up people, nine hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, overtime, doing it all. But what I did not know is, because I took my ears off of here and I put them down here. You catch that? And if she wasn't talking about sex, I was not hearing her. She right. said, listen, I'm, I'm suffering from dope. I can't hear you. My ears are down here. Right. <laughs> listen, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm going to die. Listen, I'm scared and all of that. I'm suicidal and homicidal. I couldn't hear her. My ears was down here. If you were talking about your fruit cocktails, now I hear you clearly. Because <laughs> mm. after the but what? Now what? But guess what? They tell me, yo, if you don't listen to your woman, another man will be. You ever hear that? Yeah. So I took my ears from down here and put them back up here and started to listen intensively to my woman. And she said, my son got murdered in Baltimore in the year 2002. 
That's pain. She said, my, my, my sister smiled in um, uh, uh, my boyfriend's face and got up with two kids by my boyfriend. She said, my father went to jail for molestation. She said, my mother tried to abort her, abort me with a hanger when she was in her mother's stomach. She said, every man she dated cheated on her. And I dealt with a woman who was what? Psychologically, spiritually, mentally damaged in pain. You ever that? Yes. Yeah. And my whole point is, guess what? And I had to realize that's the why she's evil. That's the why she's Jezebel from hell. That's the why she's so suspicious. That's why she's so jealous. That's why she's so envious. But she was clean, but crazy. Mm. And I still love her. And we're good friends. She back home in Baltimore. I'm right here. And I wish her the best. But God had to show me any, any minute here who got a why in your life with no answers. We can have resentments. Why daddy did what he did? How come mom said those were my uncles? <laughs> Why God allowed that to happen? He's you a good God, I can't tell. Why didn't you intervene when that happened to me? And when we ever have why in our life with no answers, we can have resentments. And which make us hard for us to what? Forget, forgive. And if I can't forgive, I won't get free. And I'm making that be an excuse to go get high, excuse to get drunk, excuse to pop pills, excuse, et cetera, et cetera. Come on. Yeah, we start, I start, I, I start to question things that I shouldn't question a lot of times. Uh -huh. And that's one thing that keeps me sick. Like you said, the main thing is not asking why, but just kind of like accepting what happened mm -hmm. and moving on, dealing with it, addressing it, and then moving forward. Not questioning God, saying, well, God, you're wrong. God is never wrong. Mm -hmm. He's always right. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is, let me figure let me figure this out since I know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So God said, you need a what, Dirk, to answer your why. So I found out her son got, son got killed. I'm listening. That's the what to answer my why for me to stop having resentments. Mm -hmm. You find what I'm talking about? Her mama went to jail. Her mama tried to abort her. All the, everything she told me, I started to listen. And it wow. all made sense. Yeah. Because that was my why to answer my, that was my what to answer my why, so I can stop having resentments. Everybody understand that? Yeah, all right. If I can't forgive, I can't get free. Come on, brother. I know, for me personally, the person I had to forgive most was myself. Yes, sir. Right. Um, just for even, for me to even forgive my family members. Mm -hmm. And I noticed once I was able to really kind of look at my mistakes, and realize where I was wrong and just accept that mm -hmm. and work on that, I was able to get free mm -hmm. from just all of that guilt and condemnation that the enemy would try, I'll use a lot of times Come on. put on you mm -hmm. to kill yourself. Come on. And so when I was able to do that and then and, and just start really working on myself and moving forward, um, there was a forgiveness that came from my family Mm -hmm. that I didn't even have to initiate. Mm -hmm. They just saw me working through and, and just like with myself mm -hmm. and, and moving on that they forgave me and, and it kind of just, a healing came about in our, my whole family that just really kind of really alleviated. And I got a lot of support from them just in just going for like supporting, recovering from my addiction and things that I wanted to do after and coming up with plans like it just became a whole family um, unit again, mm -hmm. and, and, and we, we really recovered just from uh, from forgiveness. We really found healing from mm -hmm. forgiveness. Mm -hmm. How much time you got clean? You said how much? Uh, going on three years. Hey, all right. So we gotta what? Understand them, to accept them, to finally forgive them. Easy said than what? Done. Done. How about service will result in a reward? Service will result in a reward. Volunteering. Uh-oh. Mm. Volunteering. Everybody understand that? Who, who ain't like, whoever volunteered and got a job? And got, yeah. All right, that's what's up. All right. And sir, anybody in service today? Why is that important to be in service? That's with structure and discipline. And our time has what purpose and meaning? Come on. Um, being in service is very important. Um, give back to uh -huh. a lot of uh, chaos, mm -hmm. a lot of damage, a lot of 
destruction that you may possibly have caused. Mm -hmm. For me, um, it's uh, uh, gives me a sense mm -hmm. of uh, direction mm -hmm. and gives me a sense of responsibility mm -hmm. to put back some of the pieces that I've um, that I've caused harm at and people that I've hurt. Mm -hmm. you can't fix everything mm -hmm. at particular time like the book says you know what i mean you can't you can't fix everything at one time but i can start somewhere and i can uh start by giving volunteer i can start by being in service and um being a being a positive uh model for the people around me mm -hmm. you know the best of my ability okay that'd be good that'd good be food brother thanks for sharing that service anybody else why is that point to be in service y'all who are you bored Anybody bored in here? Who idle? I'm bored with me and I'm idle with you. I'm in trouble. Anybody hear that? Nothing wrong with television. But you got to work on who first? You. Uh, nothing wrong with chess, checkers, talking to women, smoking cigarettes, shooting a bobo, whatever like that, but work on you first. Got to find some type of service. And the reward is not for man. The command is fickle. Anybody hear that? Uh -huh. Love you today and turn around and talk about you the what? The same night. So I do everything for what? From heaven. Am I understand that? All right. How about this right here? Restitution will result in closure. Who owe people money? Who owe people amends? Everybody know what I'm talking about? Hey, what happens when you try to make amends to somebody? They don't accept the amends that we're trying to make. What do we do? How do you feel? Have I been there before? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for telling you're stealing your, your TV. I'm yeah. sorry for stealing your, your peace and your sleep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm sorry for being so goddamn selfish. <laughs> If I'm talking about making amends, apologizing, because I was always self-centered. I was always about me. I was always hyper by nature. I'm impulsive. They try to put me on Ritalin. I mean, my mother said, you ain't going to put my son on no goddamn Ritalin. Teach my son. And I'm still hyped by nature. And I got to construct and slow it down. Some Not just amends. me right there. Huh? Some of those, uh, Come on. Some of them amends you, you can't make. You can't. Mm -hmm. Some of the amends you're going to have to just. Let go. Let go and let God. Maybe I hear that? Walk yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Give them from a distance. Some of them from a distance. Yeah. When then, yeah, that and then some of them you uh cause me cause more harm. Mm. Yeah, good. Yes, sir. So, Just by you showing up have doing some harm. Yeah, yes, uh, sir. You're I, right. For me, <laughs> for me yeah. some harm that I've caused, I know I I don't even care to even touch it. Mm -hmm. And I know those harms. So I don't even bother treading that water mm -hmm. and let it go. Yeah. God. Do his, do his magic. That's right. A guy from Bowling Green said, listen, he went to jail. And when he went to jail, his brother moved into his house where his wife was at. He wanted him having sex with his wife. He came out, he's ready to kill everybody. And guess what? His brother OD'd and died. God is the best to get what? Calm. Amen. Yeah. Karma. Mm -hmm. He's the architect to put our lives back together that what we crashed and what burned. Mm -hmm. Yo, pay what we owe. Who owe IRS? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. We gotta pay what we owe. Everybody hear that? I don't like tra I don't like traffic court. I don't like paying tickets. I think it's a goddamn setup. Wow. I got a ticket paying for a ticket. <laughs> 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 Restitution. All right, everybody hear that? I told them they pay. All right, payment plans. That's what I'm on. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. They make it easy. They make it pay for yeah, that's right. Uh, that's good. <laughs> and they're not a, even they're not even a Philadelphia a Philadelphia entity. They are outside enterprise. And they at the airport. They getting bread. How about this right here? Surrender will result in victory. Who here know that we will never surrender till we first have acceptance? Hmm. I will never surrender to our first guy. What acceptance? And with surrender, I gotta have acceptance and I gotta have evidence. Am I hear that? What's the evidence of what surrendering? What evidence do I need? Other people's evidence? My experience? Anybody hear that? Mm -hmm. People OD and dying upstairs in bathrooms at Bowling Green two weeks ago, getting drugs, snuck out on the campus, taking the drugs, and dying right on the plantation. Mm -hmm. Think it's a joke. 17 people, though, two weeks at before that, got kicked off of Bowling Green, what campus, for going to go get one more? Anybody mm -hmm. hear that? Mm -hmm. That's what someone who don't like to feel, deal, and heal and stay clean. Who looking at mirror see PTSDs and trauma and hurt and pain and rejection and childhood atrocities? Who, who have intrusive memories? Just when you're trying to think positive, here comes something negative. Here comes something that we talk about, thought, thought, and then we were thinking about. Here comes something out of the attic, out of the basement of our mind, subconscious or unconscious. Intrusive memories. 
trying to pull me back to where I don't want to go to. All right? I got to surrender to have what? Victory. Everybody say that? For those who used to sell drugs, now we got to get a legitimate job. We got to surrender to that appetite of fast money because illegal money always grow wings and fly away. I didn't say that. God said that. That's real right there. Right? And I got to look at my paycheck and love my check. And it's small, but I love it. It's small, but I ain't killing nobody. It's small. I'm going to look behind my back. It's small, but listen, I have integrity. It's small, but God's going to bless the smallness and increase this. That's real. Yeah. yeah. There's always a test and temptation. Being tested and tempted. Test to see if I'm going to stay legitimate or attempted to go back to the streets. The lifestyle. All right. Number seven, faith will result in what? Hope. Who ain't got faith? Your life will get better. Very good. Who knows faith? Faith about works is what? Dead. Very good. Who, who believes? What's your belief system? What's our belief system? What's our values? And what's our morals? Ever hear that? It's like this right here. Never put personalities before principles. Dash, that's my man, right? Dash don't care, I care. Dash still, I don't. Dash lie, I try to be honest. Dash is a hater, I love. Dash will shoot you, I'll talk to you. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, my whole point is, right? right. Personality class. Right, right. Ain't about to say that, uh -huh. right? And I can't hang with that because that's where I come from. Everybody saying that. They will pull me back in like my, my, my man, um, 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 the Godfather 3, just when I thought I was out there. They pull me back, back in. in. And that's how evil moves. Yeah. Just when you think you're moving correctly, because every level there's a devil. Mm -hmm. Every level there's a devil. Just when you think everything is good, now you can't got a roommate straight from hell, right upstairs in your room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what is Hold your faith? Hey, Lord, Lord, my faith has got to be in my high power. Not scratch offs, not that big ass, not because she can cook, not the preacher, because man is what? They'll fail you. Ever hear that? God will never let you down. That's right. My faith got to be in the higher deity and sovereignty, all right? And hope is coming. Who feel hopeless and helpless? Because hope is never coming. Help is never coming. And we feel hopeless and helpless. <laughs> Because hope is never coming and help is never coming. Anybody ever feel like that before? Anybody felt like that before? It's fair. Yeah. And then what? what? Why Why even try to get clean? If I feel hopeless and what? Helpless. Keep your faith in what? In your higher power. All right? The opposite of faith is what? Fear. Fear and faith cannot stay in the same house. Fear leaves. Faith stays. Fear stays. Faith leaves. And I'm tired of living my life in what? Fear. I used to be afraid of everybody except God. Anybody hear that? Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah. I fear nobody but what? I, I, I felt everybody except God. And God is the one who created me. But I feared everybody else. But today I fear no one, but I respect everyone. I know, I know how it is to get beat up. I got beat up a lot of times. Yeah. But I stood up like a man because I'm 51 and that's how we got down. Right. I love, I love Friday. Yo, son, put that gun away. You don't need that gun. Rubble. All you need is these. That's right. Learn to live another day. Mm -hmm. Stop front for cats who don't give a damn about you. Because they don't give a damn about themselves. How about number eight? Connection will result in love. Uh-oh. Connection will result in what? Love. What are they talking about? How do we connect individually, then move collectively to have an atmosphere of love? How do we connect individually to love me so, I can, so we can connect collectively to love each other to have an atmosphere of love? You know what I'm talking about? You know, like a person who cook. They cook with love. Yeah. You taste it when you're well, eating it. I'm like, it's yeah. love in here. I'm like, you <laughs> I, like it, I love Italian clothes. Italian shoes. This, they made with love. The suit is made with love. You can tell the difference. Love is always action. It's not a noun, it's a verb. Connect to what? Love. Difficulty before what? Ease. The one that you don't like in here is the one that's going to help you recover. Right. Anybody heard that in the back? In the back wow. row back there? The man in here that you do not like or despise or the low low can't stand them, get on your nerves, is the one that is in here to help us recover. 
Ever hear that? Amen. But the one you smoke cigarettes with, talking about the Eagles, 13 and 1, what's going to happen this week? Jalen Hurts might not play. We can talk that, no problem. Right. That's the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw our ass under the bus. Right. Hey, boy, you or can't find him with a fight jump off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, you fight by yourself. Listen, all right, think of it. But we got to connect. What? To love. Everybody understand love. that? First me. I got to love me so I can start loving Dash and my man right here and, and my brother right here. All right? It all starts with what? With me. Number nine, y'all. Confession will result what? Internal cleansing. Who here got to confess anything? Anybody? Confession, why is that important? When I look at this right here, this room right here looks like a big toilet. Anybody hear that? Not y'all. It's just a circle. It looks like a toilet. And that's when we come to defecate and urinate our toxicity that lives inside of us. Defecate our pain. Urinate our trauma. Everybody know what I'm talking about? And put it on the floor. But everything ain't for what? Everybody. If I shot somebody last week, you won't know that. I believe <laughs> You might see my face on the news or the billboard coming up 95. <laughs> that's how you might know. But but, but everything and for what? Everybody. Wow. But right, you know what I'm talking about? So you gotta pick and choose how you what divulge your information. But it got to come out of us. You understand that? That's real important. Because that could be another excuse to go get high. Uh-huh. Who confessed their demons? Who know their internal demons? Ain't my no internal? Come on, let me hear from you. What's up, soldier? You know the stuff that I have that, that's on my ass. Okay. I, I definitely know the, the demons that's trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to destroy me and all that. Yes, sir. You working yeah. on that? Hell yeah. Very good. Hell yeah. I'm gonna I, talk, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, I got to. Mm-hmm. I got to die. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not serious. And already done killed all my folks. Mm-hmm. Killed my, my friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my, my, my pop. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He done died from the, the addiction. You know what I'm saying? Drinking and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, a lot of my family, like, it ain't just me. It's just it's a family thing. It's a friends. It's, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a whole system that do it for the demons. I'm saying, easy entity have destroyed. I'm saying, it's trying to strong. I like to tell so I gotta be always mindful. Mm-hmm. Be careful. I always gotta know what that is and how to face that joint head on. Very good. My oh, man, I'm gonna stop you clean, soldier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a month. Hey, all right. Yeah. Hey, and t- how about this talk about women, real quick? A dude in the Northeast Sunday. Killed his baby mom, blew his brains out. Everybody hear that? Mm. Summertime, I was moving into what? The fall, right? The sheets, I was going to Kirk Bride on a Saturday. The cops was putting the sheets over this girl at what? 46 and Chestnut. Dang. The dude came out the local bodega with something and phone in his ear. He said, they said, reported that she was cheating on him. Mm. Gave her six beautiful daughters. Come out, get in the car, her vehicle. And she worked right up that family forward. Right up there, right behind Kirk Bride. I know her aunt. She was in uh in uh presence with us when it happened. She yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. And stabbed her up and the knife was still in her head when the cops Damn. came. Everybody hear that? Who in here worship women? Damn. That's dangerous. Everybody hear that? Yeah. Women have the right to what? Leave us, walk in our lives, and leave. But when a man worship the woman, worship the vagina, have no acceptance, his expectation is higher than his acceptance for that woman that he gave his life to, gave her his last name, gave her babies, let her drive his car, gave her a place to stay, and she changed her mind. Now we're not having that. Right. I'm going to get that. <laughs> no, I'm going to get that bitch. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. About. You ain't going nowhere. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You ain't leaving me. Come on. Yo, let's bust you. Thank you. Come on. Plant your time. Oh, yes. You ain't going nowhere. Come on. They think they think how they get rule of all you. No, they ain't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You and this. And you know what? They said, um, they said, men are the what? The thermostats. Women are what? The thermometers. The power of the pussy. Yeah. Mm. TDJ said that. Men set the climate. 
women adjust to the climate. You better say that. One dude said he's the lockest girlfriend in the closet. You come out when I come home from work. Damn. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. In the closet. Here's, oh, I, I, I forgot here's some water in a bucket. <laughs> Don't you try to get out of here. I'm just saying. Do I? All that. Let's just let's park the car right there. Any? How about a drill saw? Any drill saw just in here? Time in a woman. It don't take you that long to get no goddamn eggs. <laughs> Where was you? What? My head like that? <laughs> any any stalkers in there? I used to be a stalker in bushes. What you doing? Yeah, you did. Who you talking about? Oh, yes. Right. They car seats. We're back here like this. <laughs> in the laundry man in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Under the car like K Fear, Robert De Niro and K Fear. <laughs> I want to find out where the hell you going. <laughs> Losing my mind. Quit wasting so much time. My lady got my her son, my, my lady's daughter. Slow down, Dirk. She met a dude on Instagram. And nobody give up the taste like Richard Nixon on no damn Instagram. Right. And then listen, you could be smiling like a Harvard smile. <laughs> <laughs> And be lying, everything beside you be a goddamn lie. He told her, or oh, you gonna be smiling if you had that, that mug like from the projects. <laughs> <laughs> I like him, he looks serious. <laughs> then get with him, yeah, he got three kids, now he got nine kids. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't know, she didn't know. He, he was saying, yo, my, 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 he said, he said, my father's Dominican. What? She said, that dude lying. His father ain't no goddamn Dominican. He's straight black. Tell me something he's Dominican. He done lied his ass off. <laughs> Nobody really give up the takes on that goddamn Instagram. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Then he, but listen, he gave her chlamydia. Mm. And when he burned her, she was on the phone that whole night. I remember. I was going to bed late that night. I had to take her to kill Sicordia. Kill we Cordia. Kill Cordia. Cordia. Yeah, Cordia. Yeah. I'm not too far from up in West Philadelphia. Where I stay at, right? right. And I take her up there, and this dude with another woman. Mm. No. Calling her, her his phone all night long. The next day he had a whole bunch of what? Lies. I'm sorry and all of that. But she was getting what? Medicine for the disease that he gave her. Mm. They had the nerve to step into somebody else's house and bed bugs jumped on his ass and brought it back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uh, <laughs> leave the internet alone. Right? Uh, I like it real, like we be like naturally. Hi, how you doing? Let me touch you. Yeah, I like talking on TV. <laughs> Confession, all right? No our demons. What I'm talking about. How about our desires? What are our desires? Is it deadly desires or healthy desires? To that self be true. Everybody hear that? All right. How about this way? Ideas turn to what? Decisions. Anybody had an idea to kill somebody? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And you and guess what? You didn't make that. You made the I right decision. Not to for what? To follow through on what you was what? Right. Thinking. Very good. Obsession turns to what? Compulsion. We think it, then we act out on what we're thinking. A lot of times can get us in what? Trouble. Yeah. How about listening result and learning? How many brothers ain't got a problem with listening? Hell yeah. All right, why? What's up? What's in the way of us listening? What's the problem? I think you know it all. Very mm. good. Very good. I know this. Yay. Yeah. Arrogance. Anybody arrogant in here? Self-righteous. Self-seeking. Oh, yeah. Or even proud. Oh, proud. Yeah. Very good. Go fool. Come on, Bubba. Will you hang your hand up, too? Ten minutes, y'all. Ten minutes. He was talking about didn't just didn't give a fuck. Are you tell me I'm wrong. The, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm always right. I know every damn thing. Yeah. Okay. Turned it around, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. How much have you got clean, soldier? Four months and about nine days. Hey! And listen, I feel better when I keep talking, right? <laughs> Look, my, my, my lady's son, my stepson, he's in the projects where Meek Mills was popping Willie's at, 26 and Ridge. They was at what? Woodstock. Paying no rent. Work all you want, save all your checks. But complaints... King baby, queen baby, jumped in the picture, distorted, they thinking, they rationale, and they got the hell out of there and grabbed the first place they gave them. Man, they rent us like $600. She quit her goddamn job. She has a son by somebody else. He gives her a son. Now they got two kids and you quit your job? You and if anybody looking for work right now, Oregon Avenue is hired right now for UPS. And he worked like 12 to 8. He would he get like eight, uh, $18 an hour, too. He's working it right now. So anybody looking for work, UPS on Oregon Avenue. And yesterday, she gave the phone and put left the phone at the house on purpose and was gone for three hours. 
And we told him months and months and months ago, leave oh, her. Oh, oh, you cannot change her. Nobody. You can't save her. If she want to play, let her play. You got a son. You got, listen, yo, yo, the play times is behind you. You a man. You ain't no.